Here's a great, simple, tasty recipe using poached turkey, whether it's leftover or cooked, it's up to you, it makes no difference. A bit of basil, some apple cider cream, and a bit of stock. And it's a very, very simple recipe and very, very easy to cook. Now, first thing you need to do is to make the sauce. Now, chicken stock needs to go into a pan. Nice hot pan. In it goes. And to that, I'm going to add some dry cider. And just pour that in like that. What you've got to do, turn up the heat, and what we're going to try and do is cook off some of the alcohol. It won't all cook off, but the majority will. Just reduce that down by about half to three quarters so you get a nice syrupy sauce. The more you reduce it, the more concentrated the flavour will be. A little bit of cracked pepper and a tiny pinch of salt, not too much, because we're using a stock cube. Bear in mind, a 10 gram stock cube is probably 3 grams salt, so you need a tiny little a bit of salt into there. Right, while that's reducing, prepare the apples. I've got a Cox apple here. Now, you can use a Bramley apple, but the thing about that is it will break up quite quickly, so I want to keep the apples whole. Cut the apple into quarters like so. With a sharp knife, go around the core. I'm going to leave the skin on these, I think. Slice these into two to three pieces. The thinner you obviously cut them, the quicker they will cook. Now this is about there. So at this point, I'm going to add the apples. Like that. And then just spread them out with a spoon. And we're going to try and almost poach them. I don't want to overcook them, because they will fall apart eventually. But I just want to warm them through. OK, at this point, as you can see, it's gone slightly syrupy there. I'm just going to pour the double cream in. Now, because it's double cream, you won't need to reduce it. You just need to bring it back to the boil. Next, on top of that, the turkey goes on. And we're, all we're going to do is warm this whole thing through. And then plenty of basil. Now, I'm not going to chop it. I'm just going to rip it up, stalks and all. Everything goes on. Nothing gets wasted. And like all soft herbs, I don't want to cook them too much. I'm just going to wilt them slightly to get that flavour out. Coriander work well with this, a bit of sage, even plenty of chopped parsley be fine. Now this is cooked turkey. Now poaching means you just put it in a little bit of stock and just warm it through for about 10 to 15 minutes so you just cook it. Alternatively, you could uh, either pan fry the steaks or you can almost grill them and chop them up. The essential thing is we're using cooked turkey. I'm going to turn that gas right down. Just coat the turkey and warm it through. What we're not doing is recooking the turkey, we're just warming it through. And it really is as simple as that. And as you can see, that basil is wilting perfectly. How easy is that? That is now ready, so I'm just going to have a quick taste. It's quite sharp because I've used dry cider. So with a pinch, I'm literally a pinch or a pinch and a half of sugar, just to rebalance that. And that's ready to serve. Here I've got some couscous, which is just literally in a bowl, boiling water on top, leave it for 10 minutes and it'll swirl back perfectly. And just ladle this perfectly cooked turkey to the centre. And as you can see, the apples have just started to soften and it will be beautiful. And as you can see also, the sauce isn't too thick. So what you end up with is a really nice coating sauce. We'll just put that over the top. Look around the couscous. Just soften that. Look at that. I've got a few green beans here that we just poached earlier. I'm just sprinkling that over the top like that. And there it is. How easy is that?